Okay, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Ur um, urban forward engineering to um, create the tables according to our um, data model. So we're going to create the tables in Microsoft SQL Server. So we're going to use this simple example, customer created orders, which contains multiple products. Before we get begin, go into Management Studio, which is, provides interface in your app with Microsoft SQL Server. And um, make sure your um, server type is the database engine and your server name. Should, you should use your computer name slash SQL or SQL Express for the Express version. And authentication should use the Windows authentication. <coughs> so first of all, we're going to create the, a... Um, new database. So for you, if you use it for uh, the management studio for the first time, you should only see the system databases. So you click on databases, right click on it and select new database and give it a name. So you should name it project 3 and the last name, um, but for this demonstration purpose, I'm just going to name it demo 2. And as you type in, the name automatically reflects in the database file and log file over here, which will be stored in the computer where SQL Server is uh, installed at. So click OK. And so that database is created. It doesn't have any tables yet. So you can see from the tables, only system table exists. And so now we're ready to get back to Urban. And first thing first, we're going to select physical model and you notice some changes on the left hand side and then under the actions um, the forward engineer schema will become available after you select a physical so on the schema window pretty much create um, user defined type role default and so on just everything as default and then um, click and generate. You'll be um, double checking your database type is correct for means 2008 and then Windows authentication. Um, down in here your connection type should be used native connection and server should be computer name again slash SQL SQL Express. And make sure that your database is point to the correct one demo two for my um, demonstration purpose. Uh, if not, you can click into it and modify it. And when you're ready, click Connect, and you will see uh, queries running successful, successfully to create <coughs> the tables, PK, FK constraints. And so before you hit OK, <coughs> you want to click on this floppy disk uh, icon to save the ERE file so you can uh, submit it later. So I'm going to just overwrite this file that I had it before and so now you can click OK and now back to the management studio now you should see all the tables created so you want to hit that refresh button and go back to demo 2 which is our database now four, five new tables get created but it's only structure so if you right click and click on design you can see that the attribute or column names uh, exactly matching the ones you created in the urban model and primary key, data type, length of string, null uh, values. But it doesn't have any values yet. Right click is that top one well, doesn't have any records yet. So now what we're going to do is that we want to execute some insert query statements. So I hit the new query and then I can do the insert into table name is customer and so in here you want to <coughs> also point to the database name which is that two dot dbo dot customer so as you type in and you will see any selections if you simply type in that table name sometimes you have the trouble locate the correct database that contains that table so make sure you uh, type the entire path for that table including the database name and then values. And notice that as you type in into the query window here, all the key research keywords will automatically be recognized and colored in um, blue. Um, 
So the first one is I'm not sure. Go back to see uh, the structures like this. So you're going to see uh, ID, which is an integer. So I don't need the quotes and the next one is last name. First name, of course, for your customer, your project, you have one name only, not first name or last name, because it's a business name. And street address, street, for example, and I'm done and ready to execute. And so if you see that, uh, that means one record gets uh, inserted, and we can double check by right click on. Uh, select 100 rows and now you can see my data just inserted now this is multi tabs and so what I would suggest you is to save this query uh, so you can see a, a start over here meaning that some changes have been made you haven't saved the changes yet when you close the query you'll be, you'll be asked because um, I already give a name or you can save as save query as Um, so under a certain location, you want to save it. your query name as query one and so on. <coughs> so next time you can just open it up from um, say desktop. So even if you close it, you can always open up your query that you saved. Okay. Of course, more important is that if you later on in Project 3 uh, write some selection uh, statements, that will be very useful because you, it will always uh, allow you to run and get a rec uh, report of the search results. Okay. So uh, if you somehow have some trouble um, for, for engineering and then leave a have filled uh, database, you want to probably start from the uh, a clean version. You can either right click on the database and delete it and click OK, or you can um, uh, just make sure that you delete each single tables in this uh, database and also any of the um, <coughs> rules created. So it's better to actually um, just drop the entire database and recreate a new empty one to make sure. And if somehow it gives you error saying the object cannot be deleted, so it's good um, practice to close down, close your management studio, also close your urban uh, models to make sure there's no uh, nothing request still lingering so it cannot delete this database. The worst case, you will reboot your computer uh, to do that. So that's basically it. And remember, the, when we talk about the orders of um, the data being populated, it matters because there are some foreign key, uh, primary key constraints. So you have to maintain that integrity. Um, so before you can enter for a manager ID, make sure that the employee record for the manager exists, and so on. So. That's it.